Welcome to Charting Basics for QSD. Here I'll show you how to pull up some charts. You can see on the left hand side you click on charts. That will pull up a new chart window. Um, from there you will enter your contract symbol, select the time frame, and there you pull up the chart. As you can see you could resize the chart. Click and drag to move the chart around. And you can see the icon up at the top of the screen that will bring it back to the best fit in case you lose uh, the formatting of the chart. Here you can use the scroll wheel on the mouse along the time frame and that will expand the space between the bars. If you right click on the chart here, you can select the different chart types, line, area, bars, or candles. You can also right click and select the different time frames of the charts. A shortcut to do this would be to hold down the Alt key and hit N and then you can bring up the new chart dialog box and then change the time frame of the chart that way and hit enter or click OK and that will change it as well. You can see the chart menu up at the top. Here you can select it, put it in tabular data, export to Excel. Many other options up at the top. If you select indicators or press Alt I, you can bring up the indicator box. Here you'll see all the indicators available to you. Select it. Select the coloring and properties of the indicator itself and then hit OK. Here you can see if I move the mouse to the top right of the chart a little box appears and I could select the different order entry uh, properties so I could place orders on the chart. I can also go into the chart menu and select to save the chart as an image, select a location and save it and then you can attach it to an email or whatever you want to do with it. Here's the chart properties window many properties to choose from to customize your chart here's your point and figure chart put in your contract your box size and reversal it's on the decimal system so a one by three would be a uh, depending on the contract on this is a uh, quarter to three or the corn. Here is your spread charts. These are for user defined spreads. So you type in custom formulas for multi legs, um, custom pricing things of that nature. There is an oil share that we will populate to show you how it looks. To do an exchange traded spread or exchange listed, you would just go to your normal chart frame, hit Alt N to pull up the contract window, and then you would start typing in the contract. Here we're doing July corn. You would type a colon and that will bring up the second leg in the spread. Select the second leg you want, click OK, and then you have your exchange listed spread. You can also chart your options this way as well. You can see I put C for call, you can put P for put, put your strike, select it, click OK, 
there's your option charted. You can see the properties that are down on the bottom of the chart. You could right click on them and remove them or go to the properties and select different periods for your studies. Up on the top of, on the bar you see different toolbar items for chart tools. Everything from trend lines to Fibonacci's, trend channels and such. Here is a example of a chart tool that is a uh, text box. There are several other options up at the top. Emailing your chart, printing your chart. Enabling a trade pad to trade from, in addition to using the column on the right that we activated earlier in the video. You could change that display box on the top left of your chart to display the information in a, that box, or you could change it to this mode where it just puts all the information across the top of the chart, uses less coverage area. That is charting and QST. Thanks for watching.